uh, the Euros will be happening first. So England against Spain. This is going to be, uh, oh, look, it's going to be an exciting game. I, look, you have to favor Spain. They have looked better throughout the entire tournament. Um, again, this is, is, is I, I wonder, I guess my question, my main question I have is like, how conservative is Gareth Southgate going to be? Because I don't think there's a, any issues with uh, uh, Spain really going for it. But how, what, what do you think is the approach Southgate will have uh, on this one? I don't, I think the thing with him is I feel like he doesn't deviate very much. And I think that's part of like his Achilles heel. Um, I feel like he's made some questionable moves already, like this tournament that have been a little bit frustrating. And we have not seen an England side that really, I'd say, is to like on paper, you'd be wildly impressed. Like, oh, those are really good players. They just have been underwhelming. Um, even Kane's been underperforming. So I feel like unless they play like super defensively, you know that Spain have like a lot more flair. Yeah. Um, I think that the, as far as the specific decisions, so starting Kieran uh, Trippier, which is, okay, uh, uh, so he's a right, he's a right back playing a left back. He's a right footed, he's playing as a right footed left back. And you, and it's so weird that like, if you are a person that pays attention to the sport and the details, you can see he's not comfortable. You can, you can see in the way he positions his body to make certain passes. You can see the, the, the lack of crosses coming from the left side in that first half. So what's been happening the last few games, uh, especially since Luke Shaw has uh, uh, gotten uh, sort of back to fitness is Kieran Trippier starts the first half and Luke Shaw starts the, the second. In my opinion, Start Luke Shaw. He is a he is he is left footed at the very least. He is left footed, and that you can you saw it in in the in the game uh, 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 that they in the game against Netherlands that there was at least a threat that the the the, the right back on the other team had to be like he might cross it, and I have to be aware of that. And with Trippier, it's like, nah, he, that is not happening. He's not sending in a confident cross or, or it, the ones that, the ones that he did send in, Keeper was like, uh, gimme's, this is all, my, all me. Thank you. Um, I love when I have to do analysis and criticize someone for being like right footed when I'm like the most right footed person ever. And I'm like, no, nah, it's not that bad, bro. You can just use the outside of your boot. It's fine. Who, why do you need a left foot? This is coming from someone who if, look, you you can completely take off my right leg and that and I will I will <laughs> competently play a soccer game for you. I no left foot whatsoever. <laughs> but yeah, that that feeling of being really uncomfortable is not helpful. I've definitely been in that before. Like I also don't like playing centrally when you feel like a fish out of water and you're spatially off everything else is going to be off and like bless him for trying, but it just, yeah, I, I would have flipped that, like put Shaw in. I don't, I haven't seen a benefit yield to starting Trippier. Yeah. Like I that. think it, look, it's clearly the, it's, Luke Shaw's not starting because they don't think he can play a full game. So uh, understandable, but the, look, the, right. But you're going to tell me that you have no depth. There's nobody else that you could have. Which is that's and that's on Southgate for like, I well, for picking again. The, like, like I just feel like Southgate isn't long for this world. Like maybe if they somehow pull off these Euros, but again, like this is their second back-to-back -back Euro finals, which is commendable. But like, are are you going to be able to get this done right now? If I were a betting woman, I'm going with Spain. They just seem far hungrier, more organized more clinical um, in contrast to England. I feel like England have kind of just been like patching it together as they go. Yeah. And then, and even the, in their style of play, like just the, their two uh, wingers and having Lamine Yama and Nico Williams, like every, regardless of where the ball is on, on what side of the field, like those two guys attract a lot of attention. The defenders have to like shift their feet a lot because they know they're, they're quick. And you can see, obviously you saw what Lamine Yama was capable of. And that, that is something that they're like, uh, you know, that they're worried about. So the, 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 for England side, like, I mean, I think the decision to start uh, uh, Kabi Mainu over Trent Alexander Arnold is the right decision. That's Trent. I, like again, I don't. I think he's a great 
He's good at what he does. He, I, I said this before. He should be the right back instead of Kyle Walker. If I, I th this is the thing. They are not creating enough offensive opportunities because I think the the the, the fullbacks are not these sort of great attacking threat. If Kieran Trippier was on playing right back, <clears throat> makes sense. I get it. I think there would be a better. There would be more attacking uh, uh, chances created and stuff like that. But it's just the, the lineup and the decisions lead to this these performances they're just like kind of underwhelming so yeah i mean i feel like all in right like you'd expect more goals out of foden out of saka there, there's a lot of talent on that team that just hasn't been able to rise to the occasion yeah it's a um so i'm looking forward to how just I would love like these puzzle pieces what is going to sort of uh, sort of change i'm expecting um you know they're going to have to put in an incredible defensive performance uh to hold off spain and then to to hold uh, and then look c can they score a couple for sure and also like spain are much much quicker tempo in their play they're fast right 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 yeah so it's you know it's a little bit of just like setting up roadblocks for them yeah i mean in the last final they played against italy and italy won in penalties but very two two very different types of teams and um you know that much more um sort of attacking threats for uh for spain there's look there's we have we have friends and we have uh, you know and and the soccer community especially the Amer the people who call it soccer community kind of want they don't want they don't want England to win cuz they don't want them to see any joy uh whatsoever my best guess i don't i, I think they're also going to be unhappy I, I i don't see how uh they can figure it out and if they can credit to them i think they they are going up against a much uh not necessarily individual players like uh, but they, they're going up against a better team so yeah uh, and plus the english fans have already began singing it's coming home so they've now just like activated the hex, so. <laughs> i just i just love how gareth southgate is just like this terrible manager who's just constantly in finals and really getting the team so far he up he's like thank you guys for getting me here and we'll see what happens next and then he so still it's job, gonna be so on we'll on see. the coaches i think on this one to this uh, to, to see who wins i mean if uh if garisal kick can do it i think that would be absolutely tremendous um and then he doesn't and the u.s offer him the job <laughs> <laughs> that's right that's what i was gonna come home baby come home we got you uh i saw yeah i saw uh, paul tenorio on uh on um on golasso mentioned this i think it was on either box to box or something like that. and uh i mentioned that you know you they should hire gary southgate for the u.s job and they, it was it was like I, I i i did the arthur fist i was so upset that he suggested that. <laughs> <laughs> i was so upset there's definitely other names being thrown around that are more feasible like Eric renard they should knock on his door and see perhaps what he'd like to do. Maybe. Yeah, that's that's a man I'd swipe right on. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's press the white button now. My man, he has. We have a manager that would be like, Ale, oh, what are you doing? That you shit. <laughs> Bro, my man, he has, he knows his, he has a uniform. You know what I mean? He just, he's like, this is what works for me. He's got, the, he's got, most importantly, he's got a flow. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. got hair. <laughs> he's got the crisp white button. Yeah, yeah. no, my man is a. We could do that. That would be a nice identity. For a little a passionate Frenchman. It's lovely. Okay.